Hello and welcome. This is Deepak Mishra once again, and I welcome you back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to uh, talk more. I'm going to take more questions uh, that were posted on my channel on this Saturday morning. I'm feeling too lazy to answer those questions to type them all. Uh, that's why it's better to make a video. Why not? Then we'll take with the first question. We'll start with the first question. Um, this is Hemant. Hemant Maurya, he writes, Hello sir, thank you for videos. Do students from China need to take approbation? Definitely, students from China need to take approbation. Hemant. Uh, next is Fawaz. Fawaz Ish Shribes. Uh, he writes, Hi, you said the salary of assistant arts is around 2300 euros. 2300 euros. My question is, the salary before or after taxes? This salary of 2300, around 2300 euros, that is after salary. So sorry, and should you know, after taxes. Uh, so before taxes, your salary is around like 4300 or something, euros, 4000 euros something, and uh, you deduct taxes and then you get 2300 euros in hand. That is your beginning salary, it increases slowly. Uh, if you are married, then you will pay less taxes, then it will increase by 300 euros. And uh, if you have previous experience in, in your own country, then you, if you get that recognized, then salary will increase still further a little bit. Okay, so then we have uh, Dr. Telman Arakelian. So Telman, uh, he writes, Dear Dr. Mishra, do you have any information regarding residency in Mundkiefer Gesis Chirurgy? That is uh, maxillofacial, yeah, maxillofacial surgery, I guess. So, Mundkiefer Gesis, okay, good. In Germany, they require dual degree both in medicine and Zahn medicine. Where should one start to apply for residency? Having both degrees from foreign non EU university, that is Beruf Sarlabnis, in medicine only enough to work. Assistant arts in the beginning, or another temporary license in Zan medicine will also be an obligatory. Uh, Telman, I would say uh, this question is a little complicated. I don't have much information about uh, this uh, moon keeper gesi chirurgy, and as you said, that it's a dual degree required like medicine and Zan medicine, both are required. Zan medicine is dental for, for viewers who don't know that. Uh, for you can begin, I think. I know one person like uh, she was a practicant. Uh, she was a practicant in my hospital, and she had done Zan medicine first, and then she was doing a medical training, a resident, uh, like medical education. She was a student. So I think if you're already Beruf Sarlo, you can start with one. Definitely, you can start with one, and you need Beruf Sarlobnis for that. You start with more. I cannot help you. Sorry, uh, you have both the degrees from EU, on a non-EU university and if you if you do both here then it'll, it's going to take like 12 years man uh, I would recommend that you check with uh, the Instagrammer if they because you're already a specialist here it looks like you have done both the degrees in your own country uh, if that that can be recognized in Germany you have to check with the Instagrammer that you can you can write them and about your CV and everything and if that if you need to do your residencies again in Germany or your training in Germany or in your own country will be recognized here that will have to get it checked because I'm not very sure in this matter sorry for that next uh, we have Prashant Singh what about doctors who have completed their post graduation in India I am doing my post graduation in neurosurgery in India I, I know that prospects are better in India itself for me. I'm interested in coming to Germany for permanent residency. I'm interested in innovations in medical field and so I'm interested in coming to Germany. Do anyone, do you anyone have completed their specialist training from outside? So Dr. Singh, for doing post-graduation in neurosurgery in India, first of all, uh, neurosurgery is a very long process it's like eight or seven years is like six years is the official training but it's like seven years eight years nine years it takes to complete neurosurgery training in germany if you are already a neurosurgeon in india your prospects are higher you can get like uh, you'll find a job easier in india uh, in germany your document but your documentation will take the same time it, that won't be any faster so you will find job easier. So you will find a vacancy for neurosurgeon in Germany easier than other candidates would find. 
uh, as you are interested in innovations in medical field that you can forget for next like two three years when you are in Germany when you come to Germany for two three years you'll be you will be actually not very enthused enthusiastic about the thing you know, which you will be doing because the hospital which will take you will be the hospital which requires a surgeon which requires a doctor they don't they would not need any uh, researchers they would not need innovators those things happen in university clinics or uni, uni clinics and to get there initially you have to start with smaller clinics so next two three years you'll be working in smaller clinics yeah maybe you'll be gaining experiences you're improving your language skills uh, you will need approbation that is most important once you have all these things then you can move to university clinics so about if you are like uh, if you're doing it for if you want to do it for the quality of life and permanent residency and those things then you can do it it will take some time but then from day one you'll be living in Europe uh, you will have a blue card uh, in Europe after 21 months you will have a permanent residency in Europe uh, so that you can do but if you are thinking about like uh, excellent uh, technical innovations and medical researches and all that happens only in the university clinics and for that uh, it takes a couple of years at least working in periphery in smaller places. Not smaller places, I would say, because neurosurgery department is not there in smaller places, but at the city level, like not big cities, small city level places. So with that, uh, I think I have answered Dr. Singh's question. If you have more questions, Dr. Singh, you can definitely write on the comments. I will try to uh, answer them as well. Next, I have Vignesh Kumar. He writes, thank you for videos and info. They have been tremendously useful. I have a doubt, sir. What is current situation in Germany in regard to general medicine? So here I would say the current situation is very bad. Vignesh, the uh, fact, one has to take the fact. Uh, one year back when I was writing a blog on this and I was talking to different people, I used to tell them that don't go for approbation, go for Beruf Sir Lobnis after uh, your language. Uh, find hospitals which will offer you job and then while doing Baruch Sir Lobnis you uh, but now the situation is so that just Baruch Sir Lobnis just finding a job without Baruch Sir Lobnis and everything it's very very difficult for foreign graduates these days so now I tend to say that okay if you have some course which will help you with approbation uh, and if you can take the approbation exam uh, that is more recommendable these days uh, because once you have approbation and all, then you are one step ahead. Then you can find job easily. There are vacancies. There is no shortage of vacancy, I must say. Vacancy is not less. But there are so many doctors. There is such a huge influx from the north, from Russian region, uh, Eastern Europe, from uh, Arab countries, from South America. I am surprised. South America, people are not going to USA and instead thinking of coming to Germany from South America. From African countries, Lebanon, Sudan, uh, this Georgia, and uh, no, not Georgia does not come there, but uh, what Tunisia, yeah, Tunisia, from India as well, there are huge number of people. So that's why uh, the hospitals have become more selective. They are choosing people they, with more experience, with more uh, language, better language skills. Those who have already worked in Germany or have the Rufser Lomnis or approbation at the that is the best. So vacancies are there every every month in the like uh, the articles come regarding the shortage of doctors in Germany. But then they are not taking doctors. Why? Because they don't find them. Because they are looking for better ones. So that is the thing. So that has become very difficult. How competitive is getting a general medicine cardiology residency there? It's cardiology is quite competitive. General medicine, because see, cardiology is also three years general medicine. So you can start with general medicine and after that you can change. You can go to a better clinic or a bigger hospital and do cardiology. Because three years is basis for building, it's common trunk medicine. So it's egal, it's irrelevant where you do, which department you do. If you're doing geriatry also, or oncology also, or any, any department, gastroenterology you can also do, pulmonology you can also do and later three years later you can transfer to the branch you like 
want. Uh, if one gets only general medicine residency, what are the possibilities of pursuing a super specialty doctor? As I, I have mentioned, I have answered this question already that uh, you can start with general medicine and later on chances are very good. Problem is only for the, all the problems which is there, that is only in the beginning for first two years till you have your approbation and experience. If you have say two years work experience in a German hospital and you have a German approbation, your German permanent medical license, then things are easier for you. Then there is vacancy, you apply there, you get a job. If, if no better candidate applies, then obviously. So, then uh, Raja Venkatesh writes, Sir, how much time do you did you do your, your six months internship? Sir, how much times did you do your six months internship to get into orthopedic residency? I don't understand the question like, why would I do six months internship to get into orthopedic residency in Germany? I did not do any, I did three months hospitation that was to come uh, to Germany to get a visa. I got the visa, I came to Germany, I went to the hospital 15 days, I realized uh, that uh, I'm, I don't have a place there because the hospital was big and there had been, there were many candidates and I could not speak very good German that time. Uh, that was like 2014 and I realized I don't have a chance there. Then I sat at home, I started sending emails and then I found like uh, interviews and then I went to the interviews and I got my residency. I did not get it directly in orthopedics. I, I must say I got it in anesthesia first. I, I applied for Garuv Sarlovnis, waited 5 months, got my Garuv Sarlovnis, did anesthesia, earned for 3 months some money uh, and after three, during that time kept applying for uh, orthopedics residency and after 3 months when I got an orthopedic residency then I quit anesthesia and went to orthopedics. That's my whole story in short again. So uh, then next question Raja writes is, Sir please tell me about yourself, how you achieve your place. In oh, I already mentioned this question right. Right from completion of your internship in India. Uh, from completion of my internship, if you would ask me, uh, I did several, I, waste quite, I wasted quite a lot of time. After completing my internship, I was planning for say USMLE exams, then I take, took my steps and I got took my step one. I realized that no, uh, getting into surgical branch is uh, not my cup of tea in US. So that was a happy realization time. I started looking for uh, options. Then I did my, that worked in Delhi, in India uh, for some time. Then I did my medical officer's job in a small village in India, in Maharashtra. Uh, that was the bonded service. And uh, after that, I quit the language, uh, quit that job and went to Pune, Goethe Institute, started doing language, inst language course. After uh, one, after A1 in Goethe, I thought that they were going very slow. I quit that. I started doing some private tutoring, uh, tuition uh, in uh, language and simultaneously I started working in the ICU in uh, Pune in the Ruby Hall clinic. I was working at the night and doing language course during the day and that way I completed till B2. Then for science I did not do any uh, course, I sat at home and studied and I cleared science as well and that was at the same time I got my call for hospitation and got my visa and I came with here. So, so I have talked a lot about myself today then uh, how much time again Raja writes how much time did it take to get into residency first day counting from first day of your German language training okay that I'll have to think about uh, I started language course in August 2013 right and I started my first day in residency in anesthesia in June 2015 so there you can do the math, almost two years. Then I have one uh, Deep Patel, he writes, thank you for sharing your experience in detail. Thank you very much Deep, keep watching videos further and sharing and liking. Uh, Ruben Ramirez writes, I have one more question doctor, uh, do you have any idea what Bundeslander are more reachable for foreign doctors to start with? Uh, thanks. Uh, hi Ruben, I would say. Uh, some Bundesländer I would mention Bayern, Niedersachsen, Sachsen, Sachsen Anhalt. These are the states I would also take Mecklen Mecklenburg Vorpommern. These states are friendlier to foreign doctors. These are the states Bayern, you can think about Bayern, Sachsen, Sachsen Anhalt. These are also easy to get a position over there. They have their own uh, demerits, 
why people don't want to go there that is a matter of like because bayern uh, the work which you do with your berufsa law is it's not counted in bayern so that's why people don't want to go there but that's why there is more vacancy and that's why they take them so and worst states where one can apply is uh northern westphalen baden wurttemberg northern westphalen is worse for beginners they don't i mean it's very difficult worse what to, what is worse but it's very difficult for foreigners to clear those exams to clear those medical fachsprache from or approbation because i read like i talked to a colleague who who has cleared an indian graduate who has cleared his exam in uh, northern westphalen approbation exam also is fachsprache proof home and the the type of exam which he mentioned that the questions that were asked that were very uh, high level as compared to other states but this guy he had prepared for it because he he knew that this is going to be the case and he had prepared for it well so he passed luckily uh, but as per him the questions were really difficult then uh, one more is monting monting wing on okay uh, so i hope this message finds you well i am doctor from chittagong bangladesh and finished my internship last year i studied from kyrgyzstan so former russian former russian state okay i passed my studying test in bangladesh in a full time registration uh, there is no good language institute in state one goyth institute is in dhaka but they only teach till b1 due to lack of student student hardly pass b1 from here attempts 3 to 4 attempts i passed a2 from private language school i'll have to because he has said read more uh, i'll have to check okay my google uh private medical school now i've i passed a2 from private level the low school all only teach poor quality now i want to finish b1 telk medicine bitsu in germany so that i can learn from them fast one of my relatives works in administration of clinic in germany that person managed me a training post in clinic in conditional that i will pass fachs prak to from bitsa the clinic will provide me letter stating that i am doing language course uh, i know doing language in germany is expensive uh, here i mean you have it's correct whatever points you have mentioned is totally true because in our part of the world uh, quality of training is always questionable so yeah that I, i totally agree with you that it's difficult to do language over there uh, but if the, as you have mentioned that you are one of your relative have managed a position for you then i would say you have to go for it it's expensive i know but i mean if you can afford it it will be an investment for you and if you already have a letter from a hospital that uh, they are going to offer you a job once you clear this fachs prak proofing then i would say it's worth the risk it's worth the risk the investment is worth the risk uh the uh, other way around the risk is worth the investment you should you should do it if you can and otherwise if you can't uh you can uh, do skype courses or uh, there are also online courses so you can look for them that is i cannot help you more than that sadly i wish i could because i really uh, feel that uh, the our part of the world the training of the language i'm i'm seeing not the medical stuff medical stuff also i mean we do pretty well uh, but uh, about language the quality is not at par at what here in germany you learn there and when you come here when i came i did my c1 there and when i came here for one month i could not understand anything i went i used to go to the hospital uh, and people were talking to me and uh, i had no idea what they are saying i i did some interviews where i had no idea what the other person was saying to me i answered what i thought the was the appropriate answer or the was the question was but I, i was not sure that that was the question so i understand but then so it is so with this i have answered most of the questions till now uh, that is 29th april and uh, i hope these questions will help you the answers will help you Thank you very much for watching my videos and uh, I wish you all very good luck keep working hard keep struggling nothing comes easier you have to work hard for it okay then bye bye take care